In this video I'm going to show you how I play Jackie de Shannon's When You Walk in the Room. I say it's the way I play it because it was made famous by the, the Searchers back in 1964 but it's been, been played by many people, uh, Bruce Springsteen, Status Quo, Scylla Black, Agneta, out of ABBA. Um, in the lesson I'm going to break it into four pieces. First of all we'll do the intro riff, then we'll do the verse and the riff, which goes with the verse, then the bridge and another riff, and then we'll do the outro. Throughout the, the lesson, the chords will appear down on the, uh, the bottom right of your screen. The chord shapes up on the top, we'll get the tabs. At the end of the video, there'll be links to other videos. Uh, there'll be a chords and lyrics where you can play and sing along. And also there'll be links to other lessons in this series. Okay, so let's get stuck in and learn the intro riff for starters. Right, ditch the 12 string and I'll show you how to play it on the 6 string. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have a 12 string it sounds really good. Intro riff. Intro riff is based on the chord of A and it starts on the 4th and a half beat of the bar. So we're going to see the, the riff appear up over my, um, my left shoulder and it starts on your bottom E string and it sounds like this. And it repeats twice. So let's look at that in detail. So we're going to do a bottom E, then A, and then the fourth fret on A, then A again, then the second string, second fret on A, then your fourth fret on the fourth string. Then back to 4th fret on A, 2nd fret on your 4th string, 4th fret on your A string, 2nd, then 4th, down to 2, and back on to an open E. And we play that twice. Shall we try that in time? One, two, three, four. Okay, not too tricky. So that's four bars of A, but you have to remember that you start just before the first beat of the bar. Should we try it one more time? One, two, three, four. That's the intro, and that riff will repeat in the verses as well. Um, in the verses, it's a bit difficult to actually sing and play that first note together, so we do kind of we, we miss the first little bit off that riff. But let's go into verse one. It's on A, chord of A, and it goes one, two, three. I can feel that expression on my, and then we go back into that riff. Back to A. You can feel that glowing sensation taking place. Now the second riff is based on E, and it goes. Okay, let's look at that in detail then. So you can leave your fingers pretty well. Um, where you would have them for the chord, but we're going to start by picking the second fret of your fourth string twice. Should we try that to speed? One, two, three, four. those all together from the start of the song. So we're going to start from I can feel. One, two, three. I can feel that new expression on my face. I can feel that glowing sensation taking place. I can feel that guitar
Now, up to D. We play D up here, so you're going to be playing basically an A shape. Up here is on the seventh fret. I tend to play it like that. So it's every time. So C sharp minor is just below it. An A minor shape. So it's every time at you. So we repeat the riff there twice again at the at the end of the first first verse. Okay, shall we run through the first verse together? Let's try it from the intro. I'll do you a count in and we'll play the intro and the first verse. One, two, three, four. So it goes from the end of verse 1 straight into verse 2. Verse 2 is exactly the same in terms of the way you play it, except at the end you only repeat that riff once rather than twice. So at the end of verse 2 it's every time that you walk in. So we just do the riff once and we go straight into the bridge. And the bridge is just a repeat of that D, sharp minor, E, and again. Wish I could tell you how much I care. But I don't have to stay. So that last little riff there is on two strings. So if you play a, play with a pick, as I do, um, I tend to pick one string with the pick and the other string with a finger. So we're going to start on the second fret of the third string, put also the second fret of the first string on there because you're going to slide these fellows together. So we're going to pick just the third string and slide up to the fourth fret and pick the top string and do the opposite then on the way down so we pick again and we finish on a so it should sound like this we do that together one two three four Okay, let's do the bridge together. One, two, three, four. Maybe it's a dream. Walking right alongside of you. Wish I could tell you how much I care. But I don't I had enough to stay. Smash it. Nearly done it. We do verse 3 now, um, which is exactly the same as verse 1 and verse 2, in fact. Uh, in fact, the same as verse 2, really, because the riff is only repeated once at the end. So where you get to... Every time that you walk in the Walk 
So I hope you've got all that. Um, don't forget there's a, a link coming up now to take you to a chords and lyrics video along with a backing track so you can sing and play along. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the series. Okay, until next time.